Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope you guys are good. Um, my hair is looking a bit wild. So I tend to like on day two, obviously I've got a fringe now, which I love, but it does require a bit of styling, a bit more styling. Um, and on a day like today where it's just, I cannot be bothered to style it, I will just put a couple of clips in my hair to get out of my face. Um, and so I don't have to put as much heat on my hair like every day. Um, what has changed recently? Oh yeah, I bought this new jumper from, uh, it's actually from Zara. <laughs> it's from Zara, but it's a charity shop find. And I've been on the hunt for a yellow jumper for quite a while, but I couldn't really find one that I liked and um, I bought one on Vinted but it was like the picture made it look really like a vibrant um, vibrant yellow but when I got it it was very dull in colour and slightly grey so um, yeah it wasn't a great find to be honest um, so yeah I found this in a charity shop and it is Zara and I think it's a really nice fit uh, it's a little bit short on the arms but that is the benefits of being a five foot nine. Knitted trousers from Uniqlo and they're really comfy, like a good just lounging in the house um, trouser. But because they're knitted, I feel like they're a little bit more elevated than like a jogger. Um, and they're perfect for like spring, summer, very wearable, very comfy, very cosy. They were really cheap as well, about £20 for knitted joggers. I thought that was quite good. Um, so yeah, I'm just wearing a little tank top underneath, Uniqlo joggers, knitted joggers and my Zahara jumper. It's literally brand new which is so good. So yes, on the agenda today, I have got all the towels in the washing machine because um, they needed uh, a wash. And I'm in here because the washing machine is very loud and wanted to reduce background noise as much as I could. Um, I hope you don't mind these, these more laid back, relaxed day vlogs. I'm finding, I'm getting a little bit of creator's block with interior design stuff and I think it's partly to do with the fact that um, because I live in such a small apartment, well it's not small but it's a one bed apartment, um, I'm just struggling to like find inspiration and I'm, I'm desperate for change but I just can't find like a good release or good enough release which is making me feel really like mentally unstimulated. Actually, it's kind of making me feel mentally overstimulated because I'm overthinking, like I need to be doing more, I need to be like having a project on board. Um, and it's just making me feel a bit like, uh, a bit panicky, um, which is never good because then you start to make rash decisions and um, you look back in like three months time, you think, why did I do that? That was a bit of a waste. So yeah, I'm still committed to like bringing you guys content and pushing content out there. But at the moment, I feel like this is kind of working for me more so than um, my interior design tips, but I'm sure they will come back when I start to feel a little bit more inspired by change and inspired by the interior design world. There are a couple of projects that I'd like to do. One of them is being the hallway. I just feel like it's a little bit unloved and um, I love the green in the hallway, but something is missing. There's not enough, I don't know whether it needs like a console table or some wall sconces or maybe a bit of paneling um, and maybe a rug, but it's hard because the, the doors open um, and they're really flush to the carpet. So you can't actually pro properly open the doors with rugs on the floor. That's 
uh, on the agenda somewhat soon. So I've been having having a look at like paint samples and seeing what I can find um, that that kind of works. I'm thinking maybe like a nice um, a nice colour that's going to complement the fact that it doesn't have any natural light and it's quite a dark area of, the, of my home. And whether like a terracotta orange, that's burnt orange, ready colour might work quite nicely. But again, that's quite a bold colour. Um, so I just need to think about that and what I'm going to do. And then the wardrobe doors that we have at the moment, they came like as part of the flat. At the moment, they're just mirrored doors, like sliding doors, very typical of um, new builds around in kind of, well, my area, but more so the UK whether I could remove the doors and put on some wooden doors with some panelling on the doors and maybe paint that like a nice blue or a yellow, like a very pale yellow similar to this, probably even more paler. But then my dilemma with that is that the, the mirrors at the moment they bring in and they bounce off the light. So it's a double-edged sword that I'm battling in my head at the moment and I think um, and I'm, I, I don't know, I'm wondering if it's just overkill at, at this point. Am, am, I, am I bored of my space? And am I trying to make changes for the sake of making changes? But having said that, change is always nice and makes you feel refreshed and it makes the space feel new and fresh and lovely. Um, so we'll see on that front. Have I got a friend? Hello, gorgeous boy. Hello. <laughs> Will you come to say hi to the vloggy? Nope, he's off. He's very busy, he's got lots of things to do. <laughs> And this is the finished result. So we've got the pea fritters, the um, pesto -y, uh creme fraiche, eggs, tomatoes, a little bit of feta and some pickled cabbage and pickled red, on uh, red onion. Yeah. And then I just have a little bit of that leftover creme fraiche on the side. And it's delicious and takes maybe 10 minutes to make. So yum.